Hello again everybody, I'm Sean, it's a beautiful day outside, and welcome back to the channel. So this is my third video in my Great Guitar Build-Off of 2022. And as before, if you haven't seen the other ones, make sure you head back, check them out, I think they're kind of cool. And while you're doing that, you may as well hit the subscribe button. Why not? So, this is going to be an interesting one. Carving the neck, doing some binding, might even get to some inlays. So, grab yourself a nice cup of tea, some hot chocolate, coffee, whiskey, beer, whatever else people drink. Get comfortable and enjoy. Now, just to recap where we are with this guy, in the last episode, we roughly shaped the neck. We put the truss rod cavity and the truss rod in, carbon rods, the whole shebang. We slotted this fretboard and we glued it all up. The body, we also rough cut and glued on the top. So, where are we for this episode? Well, first things first, this needs to be cut down. It's oversized. Then we're gonna route a channel for binding and you like this one. I have an off cut from that guy right there. This was the neck. It is beautifully flamed maple. I'm gonna make some binding out of this and this is gonna be the binding for this guy. This one right here. I think it's a nice little tie in and um, yeah, I knew I saved that wood for something. There, there was a reason. After that, it's onto carving and that'll be a lot of fun. Now we'll have a think about inlays. Let's get cutting down this fretboard. Let's get cutting up this binding. And let's route for it. And we got some binding. Yeah, so this should be plenty for the next couple builds. Fabulous. So before I can 
route the channel and install this stuff. I have to do a couple of things to this neck. I have to make sure that the sides and the taper and everything is, well, it's at its final form, basically. Uh, I can't install the binding and then have to reshape the sides because the binding is going to change size. So I'm going to use a hand plane just to get rid of the last little nib of fretboard right at the end. And then a square block with sandpaper, get the sides up to finish shape and square. Then yeah, then we can just install the binding. Happy days.
Binding is on and yeah, it went smoothly, really, really nicely. I did of course forget completely that to route the binding channel, you kind of want to make sure that your neck is straight and flat. So you need access to your truss route, which means you have to cut away that front section of headstock, which I quite like to also cut away the back of the neck at the same time. So yeah, bit more work there than I had originally thought, but Hey, it's fine. It's work that we've done now that we don't have to do later. So that's nice. While this glue is drying, put it over to the side and we're gonna grab the body. Uh, we're gonna cut this out, get it up to shape and yeah, basically get the final shape roughed in with it. I'm gonna sand, it, sand up the edges to about 180 grit with the belt sanders and spindle sanders. And then hopefully we can come back and maybe even carve the neck. We'll see how we get on. First things first is the body. And there it is. So, head down into the comment section, let me know what you think of this. It's kind of a departure from my usual style, but you know what? I'm kind of into it. Not 100% sure, this is a little pointy for me, but I love the rest of it for sure. So, head down, leave a comment, let me know what you think. Should we do more pointy guitars? We're, we're not gonna do too many more pointy guitars, I'm not gonna lie, that is not my jam. <laughs> Unfortunately, the glue on the binding is not yet dry, so we can't actually work on that just yet. So that means that is it for this video. And that means you guys absolutely have to go make sure you are subscribed to the channel and hit that bell notification to be notified whenever the next video comes out, which is probably going to be carving that neck. Well, it's not probably, it is gonna be carving the neck. Anyway. Thank you all so much for watching this far. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, leave comments on anything, you know, if you enjoyed it, just let me know. I really, really appreciate feedback like that. Make sure to leave a like on the video as well. Subscribe, all that good stuff. I feel like I'm really shilling myself at the moment. Oh, merch, speaking of shilling, check out merch. I'm gonna have a link down below. You can get a t-shirt, a mug, whatever else I've designed. 
haven't designed it just yet. Check that out, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all again real soon.